the garden. Come on out. They done, he, he, they done walked out of the covering and they got into something else. Yeah. The heart ain't right in him. They worship him with their lips, Matthew 15, but the hearts are far from him. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, they confuse me. I watch all these big old things, outreaches of Benny Hinn, and all these big old evangelists and all this stuff. I said, wow, there's so many people saved. I got excited and encouraged. And, and when I start really getting in the Word and asking the Lord about these things, I start finding out there's not as many people saved as you think there are. Uh -huh. There's only a remnant that's going to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. And there's going to be a great falling away in 2 Thessalonians states. And that great falling away is going to be awful. All people, yeah. There's going to be people coming to know Jesus that you gave up on. Come on now. And there's going to be people that you don't put to high caliber that's going to fall. Come on. Talk. And they're not going to want nothing to do with Jesus. Come on. Talk. It's going to blow everybody's mind. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. Come that's on, why you don't put your faith in man. Yeah. You don't put your faith in your pastor. Don't do that. You put your faith in Jesus Christ. Right. Because there's going to be high and mighty pastors that's going to fall by the wayside. Oh, yeah. And they're going to run. When their money dries up, they're going to take it. <laughs> I can tell you that now. Come on. Because most of them are for the Jaguar. Come the Bentley. The million dollar home. Come on. The great success. The pride and prestige. But when it goes, and it's going to go, the Lord's going to allow these strangers to come in, and this place is going to wax against Christianity, and they're going to wipe that thing clean, and they're going to lose their ministries. The Crystal Cathedral in California and San Diego has gone bankrupt. Last week they stated it. That's with Robert Shooter and the New Age religion. Boom, boom, boom. They're going to start falling like dominoes. Because this economy is going down, people. Yes. Mm -hmm. But they had worship. Watch this. Mm. Verse 8. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Verse 9. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, <laughs> a very small huh. remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. The whole thing would be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Remember Jesus said that for the remnant the days would be shortened? Come for on. the elect? Yeah. Don't you feel like the days have been shortened already? Come on. It's amazing the spirituality of it. You feel like, man, there's not enough time of the day. <laughs> They're flying by. Have you not noticed? Amen. It's amazing. Amen. Something is happening. I know I thought first, maybe it's just because I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> but I said, I ain't getting that old. <laughs> there's something happening. Seven. I'm talking about time. time yes. It's speeding up. Yeah. It seemed like we were just here last Sunday night. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kyle. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Christmas is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Ten. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of your God, you people of Gomorrah. So now, see, he's comparing them to Sodom and Gomorrah. And that's not really Sodom and Gomorrah, but he's comparing them. You see how the Lord uses types and shadows? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's doing the same to us these days. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, okay, I'm talking to y'all now. Mm -hmm. Verse 11, to what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices under me? Look at that. He, they had a multitude of sacrifices. Mm -hmm. That means people were given of their flocks. They were given their first fruits. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were bringing their tithe in the storehouse. Mm -hmm. They were doing all the things that the priest had told them. But they would not repent. They were evil and sad. Yeah. Watch this. Saith the Lord, I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of the fed beast. And I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats. When you come to appear before me, who has required this at your hand to tread my course, bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and the Sabbaths, the calling of the assemblies, I, can, I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even the solemn meetings. Your new moon and your appointed feast, my soul hates. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. And when you spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Your hands are full of blood. Man, if we had such a Christian on today, that was so powerful as what you see around TV and everywhere broadcast, then how is it that we still support abortion, the killing of babies? Come on. There ought to be enough millions of Christians if there wouldn't be a small number uh, to overthrow that thing. Come and on. why we got evil politicians up in there that people are voting on? Come on. They don't get in there just uh, by osmosis. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Somebody's going, Ting! <laughs> I like you. Mm -hmm. Somebody's voting on these people. Mm -hmm. Somebody's playing at church and then going to do 
something else. Hmm. You see? And the Lord sees it. We don't think the Lord sees us. He sees what we do. He watches. Man, He looks high. He sits high and He looks low. Yes. And when He looks low, what is He see in our lives? Hmm. I promise you, He'll weigh your motives. Hmm. He'll weigh your agendas. Hmm. And He'll weigh what you're doing. Yes. And He's merciful and He's compassionate. Hmm. But how long will we lie to Him? Hmm. How long will we come and do certain things to look righteous and then do evil behind closed doors? All right. That's what he's trying to tell you. Mm. How long will we ignore the suffering? Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. 16, wash you. Make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Cease to do evil. Mm. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Man, I got a grandmother that's going through some things right now. And you know we can't stir up enough family to come help. Come on, look out now. Come on, bro. Self. <laughs> Self is sitting on the throne in people's hearts and they still think, God knows me. God knows me. And yourself is on the throne. Come on, come on. And they can't stand. When you, Jesus said, when you've done it unto the least of these, come on now. you have done it unto me. Yes, Do we yeah. not think that we're not going to be held accountable for these things? Yes. Yes. Do we really have love mm. in our hearts? That's what he's asking. He said, man, y'all got a lot of worship going on. Mm -hmm. Y'all bringing a lot of sacrifices up to the storehouse. Y'all coming on in. Man, you're taping your services. You're making plenty of big, big money. Mm -hmm. And you're doing a lot of good things, supposedly, things in your imagination that are good. And yet you still turn down the hungry. Right. I know people that have gone by these big churches. They're huge. Making millions of dollars. And needed some food. Hmm. I don't care if they've been on drugs. Come Who on. cares? Come on. Jesus helped. <laughs> My goodness. Come on. Jesus went to those who were destitute. Mm -hmm. He went to those who were addicted. Mm -hmm. He went to those who were downtrodden. He went to those everybody else gave up on. Mm -hmm. And he asked them, will you be made whole? Mm -hmm. Look, I know there's times that you've got to use the sermon and cut them off because they'll keep on drinking. But they, I know people that's gone to churches. And they asked for just some food. Mm -hmm. And for maybe $10 worth of gas. Mm -hmm. And they were turned down by huge churches. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. And then they come down to a little small church I was preaching. And I'm telling you. And I'm shouting. And I'm saying, well, they claim to be this and that. Mm -hmm. They boast of Jesus. All right. They, they have an outer appearance of holiness. holiness. But they deny the power of Christ. Mm -hmm. How do you right. say it? Come on now. Because they're so worried on, about on. giving a little bit of dollars. <laughs> That Jesus won't provide? Come on. The power of Jesus won't provide? Oh, man, I've I got to hold on to mine. <laughs> I've got to hoard this up. <laughs> Don't you know I've got to be a proper steward of God's money? Look out. A bunch of liars, hypocrites, and Come on, Richard.